Well, hello everyone. It's uh, Saturday, December 12th, and I'm in Davidson County uh, prospecting a new creek here. So, hoping to find something that doesn't look too promising. And I'll show you what I mean. This is uh, the creek down here. You can see there's a lot of sandy, silty material here on the bottom don't see too many big rocks but uh, possibly I might get down to a clay layer looks like there's probably a lot of clay in the stream bed here but regardless uh, Mr. Steve I appreciate the opportunity to uh, check this out I'm definitely gonna give it my best see if I can't find at least a couple of specks I'm definitely in gold country but uh, you've got a beautiful creek I love this it would definitely be easy shoveling right now I'm going up to my ankles just because it's that uh, soft A lot of quartzy sand, and it's not going to hold gold. Here's a <coughs> clay ball in here. There wasn't even any uh, black sand in that pan. I'm going to have to find some clay somewhere. <laughs> I didn't find any gold today, but I did find, I guess it looks like a freshwater oyster. I've never seen anything quite like this. I've seen the mussels, but that's a uh, unique, but I'm going to quit for the day, uh, here anyway. Maybe there's something down in Uwari or in Moxville. So we'll go down there and see. Yeah, I had to give up on Steve's uh, creek. There just was no way to find gold uh, with that real loose, sandy, gravelly uh, bottom to it. It would have taken some sort of coffer down to keep that thing from caving in, uh, which is a lot more work than I'm willing to put into it so I'm back where I know I can find some gold pretty easy but I was watching these leaves fall oh man it's like almost 60 degrees already so a perfect day in December to do this well I'm down here I think I'm at the edge of the property line there's a fence that runs along here I think this is the boundary. Um, I was just kind of scouting the place and I see all this black sand just laying on top of the stream bed there. It's, it's all through here. And these rocks are sticking up. They may be bedrock that would close to the surface here. I don't know. But I think I'll just set up my little. DIY high banker. I've got my my battery charged up. I put it on the trickle charger last night and uh, just shovel for a while. That way I won't have to bend over and do the classifying with the basket. Um, that's not a big deal and it probably helps, you know, break off the chunks of clay and everything off the rocks, but uh, 
it's a lot easier just to shovel. So I'm gonna try that for maybe a couple hours to get this thing set up and see if I can pull some gold out of here. Before I set up all my equipment, I want to make sure there is gold in this spot. I don't want to take that for granted. It's been about 15 minutes setting up my equipment. That is it right there. A teeny tiny piece, but um, at least I know there's a little bit of gold here for our setup. I've got everything set up, ready to dig. Seems to be fairly level. I did not hold royal sluice to the end there just in case uh, some fine gold gets washed away. It's going pretty fast through there. Got my pumps over there and my battery sitting right there. So we'll see what I can find here. Alright, I've been doing this for a couple hours now, and you can see my water is about to end. There is just enough to kind of wash stuff down still, but I think I want to stop at this point. A little bit of a crack right in here where these don't meet together, so I'm losing some black sand right there, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I think it caught some gold. Hope it did. So, uh, I'm gonna turn off this battery and see what's in these sluices. very odd that I caught quite a bit of lead in that second sluice. So that's unusual. Let's see if there's any gold. I would have thought the lead would have stayed up top. Just, uh, too much water flow, at least in the beginning. I 
not really seeing any gold though. Ah, there's a few specks in there. Just put this in a snuffer bottle and take it home and look at it a little closer. Sure, you can see there's pieces there up in there. It's not huge, but it's uh, it's not bad, especially just to be sitting on top of the uh, very top surface like that. So let me clean this up a little more. I'll throw this lead in the bottle. You know, be able to see this a little, a little better. A little tip. If you take your snuffle bottle full of water and tap the pan like this, it works better than a bare hand. I need to get a little more water in here. Okay, here is what two hours just randomly shoveling off the top produced. Put my finger in there just to give you a scale. But pretty gold right there. give you kind of a an idea of what I shoveled it's kind of this spot here without any rocks on it right through there and I shoveled a little along this edge where I saw a lot of black sand and I've still got some material on this board I probably ought to sift through see if there's any gold in it and that's uh, all the rock that I shoveled that didn't go through the grate so that's not a lot of material to have produced that much gold. I'm pretty excited about that. Can you imagine this whole creek all the way down? Uh, how much gold that would be? Pretty decent. But my battery's dead, so I may just set up my sluice here and uh, do that for another hour. Got a little bit of sun left. I just got done running a partial bucket uh, that I dug from that hole right there. It's very easy digging and it's fairly soft stuff, but it had a lot of lead in it. And I saw one good little piece of gold in there. I haven't really checked it all out, so I'm going to get this lead out and then uh, go through it a little closer and see what all is in there. I'll show you. Well, I cleaned up that pan a little bit more, and I found those two little micro dots right up there. But that one, uh, it's really interesting because it's not a flat flake. It's, it's a pretty chunky piece. It was that time of the show where we have to say goodbye. And Oakley always likes to be a part. <laughs> of 
of the show whenever <laughs> she can be. So, uh, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good week.